South Sudan has formed its new national unity government. The new cabinet is made up of leaders from each side of its two and a half year civil war. Their responsibility now, keeping the peace and getting the world's newest nation ready for general elections. CCTV's Patrick Oyet has this update now from the capital, Juba. The new cabinet is made up of 16 ministers picked by President Salva Kiir. Opposition leader Riek Machar has 10. Four other ministers come from other political factions. The 30-member cabinet will serve in the new unity government until the next election in 2018. The international community will be closely watching the new cabinet to see if it can work together. We must forgive. We must learn how to forgive. And we must learn how to apologize when you are wrong. You go back to your brother or your sister and tell him, tell her that I'm sorry, my brother. And this is the only way that we can move forward. If, if we act as groups in the cabinet, we will fail the people of South Sudan. But if we act as one cabinet, we may have our diverse ideas, but our diverse ideas are synthesized, synthesized and summarized <coughs> in the peace agreement. Still bringing peace, uniting communities, and reviving the economy are no easy task. The new cabinet has promised to improve security and stabilize an economy that has been on a downward spiral with the inflation reaching more than 200 percent. And the people of South Sudan are hoping this will be the start of a new era and an end to conflict. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.